They're three wide on four. No out of bounds line here, not like Daytona last week. If you want to brave yourself and drop below that one, that yip white line, you're welcome to it. Trouble turn one, turn two. Three cars involved. Brian Vickers in the 40, Mike Harmon in the 44, and Stacy Compton in the 59. They look like they're hooked together. They're kind of locked together in some heavy contact with Stacy Compton's car on the right side. You okay? Come on. Who is that in that car? He didn't even slow down. Mike Harmon. <laughs> Mike Harmon from Birmingham, Alabama. The last one involved in the accident. Stacy's description of that, Stacy Compton's, was fairly accurate. And we see all the damage to the, the garage, left side. Stacey. Garage, uh, the garage, guys. There we see Vickers, the 40 car, gets on the apron of the racetrack in the corner on the inside of Kenny Wallace and pushes him up to racetrack. The 40 car loses control. Kenny Wallace, is it? yes, he's going to spin as well. 33 car, Tony Raines involved. Oh, look at Jason Keller, second in points there. He just missed it. Where's Stacy at? That'll be view number two. Okay. Because he's all the way at the top of the racetrack, slowing down. I did say Brian Vickers in the 40 car, didn't I? Yep. Okay. Uh, Brian Vickers has just been summoned to the big blue truck after the race. Great job by Jason Keller to get that through there. All right, now we see what happened to Stacy Compton. Cars are going to start scattering up against the wall. Watch the top right of your screen. Oh, yeah. Who's that? Casey Kane was the uh, the light blue car involved there also. Yeah, the channel lock car from Robert Gates Racing. So by the time this one's done, got about a half a dozen of them dinged up. 